Banjo 101. With Mike Oberst. My name's Mike Oberst and I live here in Cincinnati. I like doing a lot of things, art, and drawing, painting, working in the yard and planting vegetables, keeping chickens, and I love to play the banjo. I love old time music. I play with a string band here in Cincinnati called the Tillers. My favorite instrument is the banjo. I teach banjo lessons from my house. Lesson one, tuning. Our first string is a D, our second string is a B, our third string is a G, and our fourth string is a D, and then up here, halfway up the neck, our fifth string is another G. And it sounds something like this. Lesson two, claw hammer. The uh, playing style for claw hammer uh, you've got your hand all curled over like this and you're playing the strings with the back of your finger. Lesson three, bum ditty. Clawhammer banjo revolves around is, is called the bum ditty. Well, some people call it that. It's a three step process where you hit one string the back of your fingernail, middle part where you just make a little brush. And then the third part is to pull that thumb on that fifth string. So it ends up sounding like this. Bum diddy bum. Now the tune we're going to investigate today is just a simple uh, claw hammer banjo tune called Groundhog. Lesson four, chords. These are the two chords you're gonna need to know for this song. You've got your C chord, which will be your ring finger on your first string, second fret. And then you'll have your middle finger on your second fret, fourth string. Your index finger on your first fret, second string. The next chord is a D seventh, where you have your index finger on your first fret, second string and your middle finger on your second fret third string groundhog the song groundhog starts off with a bum ditty where, that you slide into from your 4th fret, 4th string, to your 5th fret, 4th string. It sounds like this. Then after that slide, you're going to go do a bum ditty on your 4th fret, 4th string. Then you're going to do another slide up to your 5th fret. And then you play an open 4th string bum ditty. So right there we have this. Now what we're gonna do is play a bum ditty on our first string open. And then we're gonna fret our C chord that I showed you earlier and play our second string bum ditty. Then we're gonna let that C off, play our first string bum ditty, and then followed by our open second string bum ditty. Now after this, we go back and do that first part again. that's exactly the same. Next we have a bum ditty on our open second string. Then we fret our D seventh chord and do a bum ditty on our third string. And then our last one we do an open bum ditty on our third string. Followed by another. Put that all together and I know that's a lot. You get a song that sounds like this.
All right, I hope you enjoyed this version of Groundhog today. Stick with it and have fun. Thanks, Mike! <laughs> yes, you're welcome. <laughs>